Starting nice and early. At, uh, I, I don't want to. That's what they did yesterday. Yeah, that's what they did. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to go on a, on a boat to get to land to be picked up by another boat. <laughs> that would that would drive me that option of seeing some of those larger species you might not see in the coral gardens area now that one is a 50 minute so close to one hour snorkel that's why you do need to be able to swim and snorkel unassisted for that time country as well. We all have traditional names and stories you can ask our cultural guides about. Now if you're Australian, New Zealand or English, don't know if anybody is, uh, but you might recommend, uh, recognise this gentleman on the screen. His name is Captain James Cook. So himself and his crew on board his ship, the Endeavour, actually sailed these waters in 1770. Birthed the beautiful Great Barrier Reef we have today. Now the Great Barrier Reef is actually the youngest coral reef system in the world, so we're still learning a lot about it, but it's geological processes behind its growth and ongoing growing medications for these conditions you can hand them to this person and they will be kept in a sealed container so we can access them access the medication quickly and easily in a case of an emergency if for any reason we have an emergency and need to evacuate everyone from the pontoon today we will make a verbal evacuation announcement over the pontoon's pa system or sound the ship's horn continuously so this pontoon is wild Glass bottom boat. I don't think they're doing helicopter tours, but it looks like they could. There's the sweatsuits over there. There's an underground thing. Oh, look at all the birds. Just standing on the buoys. Um, but yes, underwater observatory. Apparently the first hour, or first half hour is chaos while everybody's trying to figure stuff out. But I'm gonna try to go to the underwater observatory and food before everyone else goes. Underwater observatory. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> Nothing over on this side. It's cool. Nice and quick. Oh, look at all that school of fish up there. The little guys. There's so many of them. Oh, look at the move. I love watching them swarm. Oh, so
All right, so we finished um, all of our snorkeling, and it was amazing. Um, hopefully, I'll have inserted the footage before, um, but this was our little um, like enclosure that we were snorkeling in, and it was amazing. Like that reef right in the center that you can sort of see um, right in the middle here. Um, it had a lot of stuff, but even if you went farther out um, towards the edges, there was lots of things. Uh, highlights for me, I think, were the cuttlefish, or the squid, I guess, uh, not cuttlefish, squid, and the Nemos, and the parrotfish, and the rat, the cleaner wrasses. And then just all the schools, like the schools are just so pretty, so oh, this place is amazing. Um, I wish the water was a little clearer, so maybe someday, someday we'll do that, so time, there's always more time to come back. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. This actually comes from a European background, okay? As far as where that name actually comes from, we will get to that one very shortly. Don't you worry about that. Now, um, depending on where you go throughout Australia, the name for this instrument will always change. To give you an example, in this area of Australia, our name for this instrument here is what you would call Yiki Yiki. Alright? Now, however, this instrument comes from the Arnhem Land. The Arnhem Land is located in the Northern Territory, and in the Northern Territory, they would call this instrument over there, Yadaki. So Yadaki, Yiki Yiki, once again, didgeridoo, not an Aboriginal word. We'll tell you very shortly about how that word came to be. Especially with your clapsticks, is to 
dance to it. Would anyone like to see a dance today? Mm. Whoa, whoa. All right, so um, let you in on a bit of a secret. Um, dancing uh, requires a bit of energy. That response kind of killed me, all right? And apart from that, the circular breathing psh, really set me. So, would anyone like to see a dance today? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness, calm down. All right, so uh, this, this dance that uh, I'd like to demonstrate to you is uh, our traditional men's dance. Traditional men's dance known as a uh, quadri. However, in this area of Australia, our name for this dance here is Guadamar.
smallest violin. Oh, cool. There's many JR fans out there. I know we've got some. Oh, beautiful. Some wild is great. Such a noble dude, I can't even finish school. Missed my mom and left too soon. His dad was a fireman, he pumped by his soul violin. I think I bought my therapist, I'm playing in my violin. Oh my god, that's all the same. Oh my god, that's such a shame. Excellent worship, don't feel so great. But I can't help myself from feeling that.